a super cool ringtone. I know, isn't it? Yes, we're next. Finally, we've been standing in this line forever. Oh, ooh, my knees are locking in place. Listen. We've all made sacrifices, but it's worth it because after two days and three nights of waiting, we're some of the first people in the <laughs> world to own the greatest tech gadget of all time ever this year. The glove phone. Yes, glove phone. What's a glove phone? Uh, it's the latest in wearable tech. Part glove, part phone, all glove phone. I'm confident that a few years from now, all clothes will be computers. Really? Computer clothes? Great. Those will look perfect with my calculator earrings. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. This just in on the glove phone. We are all out of glove phones. You'll have to come back another time. What? <gasps> what? What? But no! We've been waiting here for days! <laughs> That's the spirit. Hey, don't think of this as failing at buying a glove phone. Think of it as succeeding at standing in line for a really, really, really long time. But we were next! <laughs> Look, I made my own glove phone. See, you can put your pictures on it like this, and then you can even post them on social media. If social media is the fridge. Can you get a triple megapixel palm display on that thing? I don't know what that means. Because the real glove phone can! <gasps> if it's broken, you're paying. Everybody calm down. It's hard, I know, but we can get through this. How can I stay at the cutting edge of technology if I don't own the technology at the cutting edge? I don't know. I was trying to be strong for the both of us. Oh, this is so hard. Did somebody say glove on? Huh? huh? Yeah, I guess. In the last minute or so, someone did. Yeah, why? Because I could have sworn I heard glove phone. Or maybe I was just looking at my hand. What? what? How did you get that? My parents paid someone to stand in line. Did you know some bozos waited like three days for one of these? Wow. Pfft, what a bunch of bozos, right, guys? I know, right? One of you send me a text. Um. Oh. Hand control motion sensors, super intuitive. It's like this is what my hand naturally wants to do anyway. And if I want to open up a weather app, I just do. <gasps> Come on! I own you! Oh, it's cloudy. See? Let me try. I want to see if the thumb sensors are as cozy as I've heard. If you think I'm going to let you use my glove phone, I'm going to ask you to talk to the hand. Talk to the hand. That's the slogan for the glove phone. It's in all the ads. <laughs> talk to the hand. Oh, that is such a good slogan. <laughs> Rage is so messy. Come on, Ginger. We're your friends. Let us try the glove phone. Uh, I don't know. I sort of just came over here to gloat. Oh, come on. There's got to be something we can work out. Just name hmm. it. Okay, here's the deal. We shoot this super sweet kung fu video for you, and in exchange, you let us use the glove phone. Deal? Uh, I'll think about it. <laughs> okay, edit that so it looks like I did a cool backflip. And make me on fire! Uh, I guess, given enough time, I could try to figure... Oh, you could try? I guess I'll try to think of a time that I can let you use the glove phone. Well, now, well, hang on, Ginger. Who said try? No one said try. Ben will add fire. And what if I threw in something to sweeten the deal? My secret stash of TV collectibles? But it's secret. Mm -hmm. Come on, Hank. Help us out here. Mm -hmm. All right, if it's important. But be careful, there's really valuable stuff in there. Like that napkin is the same color as one they used on English Party Mansion. What a show. Hmm, pretty important. 
impressive stash, I guess. Impressive enough to get a look at that glove phone? Huh? Ah, 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 no touching! Stop right there. What if... <laughs> okay, so you want me to call my contacts in the music industry and get Ginger a front row seat at the Teen Romance Music Festival? Is it so hard to believe we're just doing it out of the goodness of our hearts? I want it! I want it! Gimme, 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 gimme! Oh, I'm just getting a call on my glove phone. I'll take it into the hall. If you'll excuse me. This is Ginger. Talk to the hand. Did you see that? Okay, are you just doing this so you can use Ginger's glove phone? What? That's, that's crazy. What are you talking about? Yes, yes we are. Look, I get it, but you can't just do a million favors for Ginger so you can use it. We're not doing a million favors for Ginger. We're just doing one complex thing for it. I mean, where does it end? Think about it. If you get this ticket, you're gonna owe me a favor. Oh yeah, that's right. Don't you see? You're falling into a black hole of favors. Oh, is it a wormhole black hole of favors? A black hole? Isn't that one of those dangerous science things? <sighs> Angela's right. The glove phone isn't worth it. Well, maybe it's not. But you know what else they said wasn't worth it? Finding the world's first dinosaur bones, climbing to the top of the moon, sailing Ooh, ah! to Mount Everest. I mean, everyone said those people were crazy. They said they should just sit at home and fluff their pillows, but they showed them and will show them too, because we are gonna get that glove phone. All right, so this didn't work out great. But after all that we have done for Ginger, and he owes us that glove phone. And if he's not gonna give it to us, we're gonna have to take it. Potato One, this is Wild Bandit. Come in, Potato One. Uh, yeah, I see you, Tom. I think you mean. I see you, Wild Bandit. Over. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, for the record, I'm still opposed to sneaking into Ginger's house and stealing the glove phone. Over. Over. It's not stealing. We're just gonna take it without asking. He owes it to us. Over. I don't know, it feels wrong. The time to think about right and wrong ended when I put on this super cool black hat. Now the hat is on and we are doing this. Okay, sure, let's do it. Over. Over. So, is lookout in position. Roger, Black Hat, I've got a view of the area. Is there anything I need to know? Over. Well, there's a squirrel in the tree to my left, and there are two flowers in the ground beneath me. There are no rocks nearby. Repeat, there are no rocks nearby. Wait, I saw one. Keep going inside and you should be in a big hallway. You want to stay to your left. Left. Right. Forward. Yes. That. Right there. Should be it. Beyond that door in front of you is the room we've determined to be most likely to hold the glove phone. Whoa. Do you see it? No, I'm in an empty room but there's a briefcase in the middle of the floor. That doesn't sound right. My research doesn't indicate any briefcase-themed charging device for the glove phone. It's just a picture of Ginger sticking his tongue out. It's like he's making fun of somebody or something. It's a trap! It's a trap! Wild man in the air! Very good. Ah, Ginger. You've passed the test. Test? Only the test of friendship. Tom, the test to see if you would let your jealousy over the fact that I had a glove phone consume you. You did! Or should I say, fail the test? Wow! So you can even clap your hands while wearing the glove phone? Because I had read that we weren't going to be able to do that until they released the glove phone 2.0. Oh no, you can't! Oh no. <gasps> you broke it! Oh man! My butler's butler waited in line for this forever! So after all that, nobody has a glove phone? That's insane! This is Nighthawk over. I think the lesson to be gleaned from all this is that things are fun to have. 
But what really matters in life are the people. French. Hank, what what is that? Sad. Nighthawk, you're breaking up. Repeat. I repeat. Nighthawk, repeat. Our friendships as the. <laughs> it looks like nobody's technology is behaving today. <laughs> what? You called the cops? Jeez. I would call them and tell them not to come, but I don't have my glove phone. Somebody broke it. Our experiences. Hey, Tom, when will the jetpack be done? Hand slap. Ow! It'll be done when it's done. And bothering us isn't going to make it go any faster. Ben, Tom won't give me a straight answer on this. Is a jetpack done? It looks done. Are you sure it's not done? No. I mean, yes. <gasps> it's not done. Okay, but since I'm helping, I get to be the first to fly it. Uh, no, you don't. But you promised. No, I didn't. Ah, give me that. All right, let's go. Hey, hey, put Hey, look at that. Now you're helping. Huh? <laughs> Ginger. Ginger! <laughs> Ow! Oh. was ready, we wouldn't still be working on it, would we? What? Oh, no, I wasn't asking if the jetpack is ready. I was singing the first line of my new song. I'm in a jetpack to love. You guys are working on a jetpack, too? Ha, <laughs> that's a funny coincidence. Wow, what happened? He happened! I was just trying to help. We haven't finished the jetpack because Ginger keeps getting into everything. Oh, come on. You can't expect Ginger to not get distracted by something as fun as a jetpack. He's just a kid. Yeah, I'm just a kid. Look, Tom and Ben need to work without any more distractions. But do you want to help me write my new jetpack song? Oh, is it about me writing a jetpack? No, it's a metaphor for love. Love? Ugh. What are you doing? Please tell me it's something fun. Shh, Ginger, I'm watching my new favorite show, Kid Ninja. What's it about? Ninjas. I'm listening. Ha-ha! <laughs> I brought stores and make me the arcade and the fireworks stand. Now I'll hop on this stolen motorcycle and drive Not away. Not so fast, Sergio no! Paddington. Oh, It's Kid Ninja. Yeah. The main character is Kid Ninja. He's kind of like, I guess you could say, a Kid Ninja. Ha! My ninja skills have defeated you. How do you do Kid Ninja? Pink, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. I want to be a ninja and get whatever I want. Actually, Ginger, there is much more to being a ninja than getting whatever you want. Trust me. Why did you just wink and smile? Hmm? I don't know what you're talking about. It's like you're trying to say something without really saying it. <gasps> Hank, are you a ninja? Maybe this will answer your question. <laughs> Becoming a ninja wasn't easy. I had to join the Kid Ninja fan club, download the Kid Ninja training book, and buy this, the official headband. Teach me to be a ninja, come on. Please, 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 I'll do whatever it takes. Mm, very well. I will show you the way of the ninja if you abide by three rules. One, you must do everything I say. Two, you must only use your ninja powers for good. Now go. Okay, but that was only two rules. And that is your first lesson. <laughs> Get it. I thought being a ninja was all about jumping and doing a cool ninja yell. Don't worry, we'll get there. But first, you must learn to clear your mind so that the ninja stuff can flow in while this flows out. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Hey! What's the big idea? 
I told you, Fire Ant, to lure the awesome backflips of the Didja, you must have a mind that is clear. So you did that on purpose because you wanted me to not laugh. Ah, you are beginning to understand. <laughs> ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> The ninja must be able to do impossible things with his eyes covered. The ninja must be an expert in all manner of sneakiness. The ninja must have a mind that is free of all... Mm, distractions. A bad thing my butt did. Angela, are you sure you want to do this? Tom, I am writing a song about a jetpack. If I don't have actual jetpack experience, how will I know if my song makes any sense at all? Now let's do this! Counting down in three, two, uh, okay, you just going? Jetpack, your love makes me fly like a jetpack, baby! Ah! Oh! oh boy, that looks painful. Ginger, you saved me. But the jetpack is still up there. <laughs> Excellent work, my Dimble Cricket. Arigato, Sensei! Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on? Why isn't Ginger trying to steal the jetpack and ride it? Because Hank has taught me the way of the ninja. Sha. Sure. Uh, wow. Okay, then. Okay, everybody, it's time to finally fly this thing. If this works, we'll be one step closer to putting a jetpack in every home. Think about it. No more traffic jams or elevators or elevator jams. Hey, everybody, it's me, your boy, Talking Tom, welcoming you to the live broadcast of our very first jetpack test flight. Look at you. Before your training, you'd be trying to steal that thing. Now you possess true ninja cool. Yes, teacher, my ninja is strong. Hey, Ben, why don't you tell our viewers at home the maxular velocity of this baby, huh? Approximately 150 miles per hour. What? That's right. Uh, that is, unless you're about the size of our pal Ginger over there, in which case you could probably kick it up to about an even 200. <gasps> Remember, young one, ninja cool. Yes, being a ninja is about more than getting what I want. <gasps> oh, one more thing. Racing stripe. <laughs> cool fins. Racing stripe. So sweet. Now, normally, I'd be the first person to ride the pack, but I'd like to make an exception. Uh -huh. There's someone here who deserves this ride more than I do. Uh -huh. Someone who's proven that they're worthy of this great honor. Yes! I'm gonna get to ride the jetpack after all. This is the best, most awesome day ever! Uh, I mean, I will flow wherever the river of life takes me. Okay, now this person really, really wants to go up in this thing. Uh, I'm talking about the one, uh, the only, uh, Angela, uh, what? who bravely helped us do a test run earlier. So I guess this will be your second flight in the jetpack. I mean, if you think about it. That's right, Tom. <laughs> it will be. Uh, Ginger, be calm. Remember your training. Remember this. <laughs> You guys never let me do anything! Well, fine! If you're not gonna let me ride the jetpack, I'll use my ninja powers to take it! Ginger, no! There is still time to do the right thing! Why should I? Everyone treats me like I'm a little kid! Well, I am! I'm Kid Ninja! The Ninja Kid! Listen to me, Doug Beetle. I cannot let you use your ninja powers for jetpack taking! So, it has come to this. That's right! The teacher has become the student. Yes. I hate when that happens. Huh? Where's that music coming from? Oh, it's my new ninja ringtone! Oh, hold, if you can't, hold on one sec. Hey, Mom! Yeah, I can't talk right now. I'm about to have a big ninja battle with Hank. Yes! Okay. I'll be home for dinner! I love you, too. Hey! Isn't that the actor?
back. Sayonara, Nazi Goodbye! Well, at least we know it works. But why are you filming me? Film the jetpack! Well, I guess we should have known that creating Ginger the Ninja was a bad idea. Oh, well, in the words of Kid Ninja's karate teacher, when you have a lot of power, responsibility is also a thing that you have to think about sometimes once in a while. It's so true. But where did Ginger go? Should we be worried about him? Bills to a hundred, we're gonna have so mm. much fun! You mean we're gonna have so much education! This new Sea Captain Simulator is the latest in realistic Sea Captain software! Right, of course, research. Arg! Timber be shivers! Has G downloaded the boat Ooh. video game yet? Arg! I wanna name my Captain Sea Maverick! Ginger, that is a ridiculous name. Plus, already called it. Why is the computer going so No, Ginger! Slow? It should be done! Yeah, did someone put rocks in the internet pipe? It's downloading slowly because this is a very big, very elaborate program. These simulators simulate every aspect of being a real-life sea captain. The currents of the world oceans, the weather patterns of the seven seas, the magnetic pull of... Boring! I want to spin the wheel! Move! No! Download restarted. Progress so far. Zero. Download will complete in many hours. Oh, we were so close. Oh, now it's going to take forever to be finished. Actually, it will take... Eight hours. Eight hours of us watching the computer, making sure nothing messes it up while it's working. Eight hours? Well, good luck with that. I'm actually going to see a movie with Angela tonight. Like, just me and Angela. I know. It's pretty huge. Major milestone for us. The point is, you'll have to stay here. Tom, I can't stay here. I have a ticket to the 10th annual Thumb Drive meet and greet. USB there or USB square? Ah, oh, well, obviously. <laughs> Clearly, you can't miss this action. Well, maybe no one will touch the computer for eight hours. Oh, oh. Download restarted. Again, seriously, what is with your guys? Ginger! What? I was practicing my pirate swing so I could do them when I'm a captain. Don't get mad at me like I did something wrong. I am not missing my date with Angela. But it's going to be pretty tough to keep that computer from being touched while we're gone. We can handle this in a responsible way. We'll sit Hank and Ginger down and simply explain why they need to avoid the computer. So the point is, for the next eight hours, you and you cannot touch the computer. Are there any questions? Oh, oh, can we touch the back of the computer? Hank, what did I just say? I don't know about all this digital stuff. I'm not a hacker. Guys, if I don't get this program downloaded tonight, we're going to fall hopelessly behind in our work schedule. Sounds like someone wants to save all the high scores for himself. That does sound like bed. Ah! Oh. They're not getting it. Tom, we have to go. The previews are going to start, and I want to know what to look forward to. Okay, follow my lead. <gasps> we didn't tell you the real reason you can't touch the huh? computer, because we wanted to shield you from the truth. But I'm afraid I have to tell you. When we started downloading the Ship Captain Simulator, we discovered something. Oh, neat! Something scary. Oh, no! Have you ever heard the story of Big Beard the Pirate? Is that the guy with the big beard? Yeah. No, I never heard it. He was one of the most feared smugglers of his day. People knew his name on every island from here to the land of, uh, islands. Tom, what are you... One stormy day, Big Beard was cursed by an old sea witch. <laughs> Knowing that his pirate days were over, he buried his treasure where no one would find it. Right here. Wow. Under this very garage. Treasure under the garage? Someone get a shovel! I wouldn't do that if I were you. 
You see, Big Beard promised that if any other pirate touched his treasure, he would come back and haunt them as a pirate ghost. <laughs> but I'm not really a pirate. So, bros, shovel. Treasure? Let's do this. Ah, but because I hooked up a sea captain's wheel to my computer, he must think that anyone who touches it is a rival pirate. That's right. That's exactly what he thinks. Anyone who touches the computer is soon to be the victim of a spooky haunting. But I, I touched the wheel. And I did too, earlier when you weren't paying attention. <gasps> you did? Well, maybe Big Beard's pirate ghost didn't notice. There's only one thing to do. Destroy that computer! Let's what? No, no. All you have to do is stay away from the computer, guys. Stay away from the computer and the ghost will leave you alone. That's it. How do you know that will be enough? Uh, hey, ghost, if what I said makes sense, give us a sign. <laughs> ah! We won't touch the computer! We Those two are so scared. I almost feel bad for making up the story. Do you want to go to the Thumb Drive Festival or what? Of course I do. What kind of question is that? I don't know. It seems like there must have been an easier way to keep them from touching your computer. Was there, though? Hmm, I don't think so. Well, now that I think about it, maybe not. The important thing is, we're all able to go out like we wanted. No harm done. So there's a pirate ghost in the garage, and there's really only one way to deal with a pirate ghost. State-of-the-art ghost hunting technology! I have all the gear we need to find a ghost because I asked my parents for it for my birthday and they just want to give me stuff so I'll be quiet. Get ready to meet your worst nightmare, ghost! That's what Jack Sauna says on Ghost Poachers International. Ginger, what does the ghost sonar say? It says there's something this way. It must be Big Beard. Okay, but be on the lookout. Whenever Jack Sauna thinks the ghost is in front of him, something happens right behind. Big Beard, be gone ye from this cursed home! Uh, did we get him? Uh, I don't think so. Ah! Uh, Huh. Well, the pirate ghost got away. Just like a real pirate getting away from the sea police. Wow, we made it. Our big night out. <laughs> and for a while there, it looked like it wasn't going to happen. What big night out? We've been to the movies before. Yeah, but never just the two of us. I mean, there's no one else but us, so it's basically like a date. Huh? Cold in here, huh? <laughs> Popped corn? Nah, I I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> Move over, armrest hog. <laughs> no way. My arm was here first. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Fine, it's a tie. <sighs> Big night out. Okay, I set up a plate of lemons right under the ghost trap. When the pirate ghost tries to eat them so he doesn't get scurvy, we'll get him! It's a perfect plan. No ghost is gonna outsmart us! Ah! Big Beard! We're sorry we touched Ben's computer, but we're not really pirates, okay? You get it, right? Ah! No! Ah! 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 Pirates! Ah! Uh, you aim high, I'll aim low. I'm aiming! Ben, that was the best night out ever. You're telling me. I slept like a baby. What? I thought you were going to the thumb drive meet and greet. Oh, I did. Somebody there was showing off a pillow that plugs into your computer. It reads you your work emails while you lie on it. <sighs> so relaxing. Okay, well, in other news, Angela and I shared an armrest for like 15 minutes. Nice. 
face. Yeah, so worth lying to Ginger and Hank about a ghost. Lying to those two was a really good idea, Tom. And the best part is, there aren't going to be any bad consequences. What in the garage is going on in here? It's Big Beard, Tom. He has us on the ropes. We tried to destroy him, but all we did was make him mad. You destroyed my computer! I know, that's what really set him off. It's not our fault. You left us alone with an angry pirate ghost. There is no ghost! Ben, you're like one of the two people who told us about the ghost. It's true, Hank. There's no ghost. Ben and I made up the story so you would stay away from his computer while we were gone. But if there's no ghost, then why did that light bulb pop and the vase break and the kayak fall? Well, I shot the light bulb with a slingshot and Ben nudged over the vase. Right, Ben? Leave me alone. And I knocked the kayak off the wall last week and didn't put it up securely, so it falls off about five times a day now. <gasps> Tom, I am so relieved. It was all a hoax, just like on Ghost Poachers International. Yeah, I'm just glad it wasn't a real ghost. Yeah, because that writing you guys did on the bathroom mirror was so scary. Huh? huh? The writing on the who what? Pleased to haunt you. Uh, I didn't write that. I didn't write that either. Guys. <laughs> the law of the sea shall reign. Angela, what's going on? Wait a second. Did I just hear the sound of your phone uh, not uh, making a sound uh, when I called? Uh, uh. Well, I don't know what you're... Hello! Whoops. How are you? Because yesterday I changed your ringtone to my new song, What's Not to Love. Yeah, I found that out when my phone rang at the Museum of Silence. Yeah, the tour guide was so bad, he almost said something. Well, this isn't a museum, so why don't you turn it back on? Uh, because... Let's see, how can I put this? I knew it! You hate my new song! <laughs> what? I like it. Everybody likes it. I mean, Hank, what do you think of Angela's new song? Huh? Oh, I have to go and uh, watch my carrots grow. I planted carrots in my excuse huh? garden. Okay, Angela, fine. You want to know the truth? The truth is... I loved your song! Really? Oh... Yes, totally. Huh? And now that I think about it, I'm going to make sure I hear what's not to love every time I get a call. Wow. And there. Yeah, uh -huh. Did you wash that carrot? No. Did you wash your cereal? Huh? You guys, guess why today is better than yesterday and why tomorrow will be even better than today. Okay, so you know Victoria Payne? Victoria <gasps> Payne. Isn't she <gasps> that really mean music critic from the Thumbs Up, Thumbs Down report? Yeah! Remember when she made that hip-hop star, tough guy, no tears, cry? <laughs> and then she gave his crying a thumbs down. Oh, she's so cool. Well, tomorrow she's coming here to interview me <laughs> and review <laughs> my new song. <coughs> what? Why, why, why would you agree to that? Because if Victoria Payne gives you a thumbs up, it basically <gasps> means you've made it in the music world. Angela, this is a mistake. Victoria Payne doesn't like anyone. Thumbs down, thumbs down, thumbs down. I know she can be negative, but guess what? I'm positive. And you know what happens when a negative meets a positive? An angel gets its wings. Close. It turns a thumbs down into a thumbs up. This isn't good. Angela got upset when she thought I didn't want her new song as my ringtone? How is she going to handle a review from Victoria Payne? <sighs> well, if Angela's gonna do the interview, all I can do is be there for her. Huh? Mm. <sighs> Instant springtime. <laughs> 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 
Tom, what are you doing? If Victoria's allergic to these flowers, you're guaranteeing a bad review. Tom, relax. You're getting all worried for nothing. I've never had a bad review. Yeah, but look who reviewed you. Happiness Monthly, Journal of Positivity. Don't forget the awesome report. The awesome report. That's me. It says I'm awesome. Oh, and Smile Magazine. Smile Magazine. Victoria Payne doesn't work for Smile Magazine. She makes a living out of huh? ruthlessly crushing singers. Mm -hmm. <gasps> <gasps> this is it? <gasps> Break a leg, me. Victoria, welcome! It is an honor to meet you. Well, look at you. You are definitely Angela. <laughs> uh. Ooh. Ooh, what was that move? A curtsy. Not a cool move in this situation. Definitely not cool. Is there anything I could get you? Oh, are you cold? I could get you a sweater. Sometimes when I'm cold, I put on a sweater. Ooh, no thanks. Oh, that's cool. I mean, not like cold, because it's the right temperature, but that's great. And I'm cold, I put on a sweater? Oh. So, do I talk or... Sorry, it's just that you're so... Uh, nice. Oh, thanks, Victoria. So are you. How did you come up with your new song, What's Not to Love? Or, I'm sorry, do you still say love? Great question, Victoria. Well, I started thinking about the things I love, and I realized I pretty much love everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, I'm not sure I do. Mm. Well, I know what you mean, Angela. Huh? I'm Tom. Hi, great. Tom. Huh? <laughs> uh. So, here are some of your song titles. Look for the rainbow in every rainbow. Happy longer than forever. And now, what's not to love? <laughs> So, how would you respond to a person who says your songs are too cheerful? A person said that? Who? Can you tell me their name? A person can say anything on the internet that doesn't mean it's true. Guys, <laughs> you can't let stuff written on the internet bother you, okay? Well, that is just... Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I won't. What's not to love? Yeah! 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 yeah. yeah. Thank, you. Uh -uh. Oh, thank you. Thank <sighs> you. What a performance. <laughs> Thanks. I'm so glad you liked it. Well, I think I've seen enough to write the article. Oh. It has been really nice meeting all of you. It was nice meeting you, too. Huh. She's not as mean as I thought. Yeah, I kind of like her. I just don't get it. She's not like I expected at all. We were wrong about Victoria Payne. I guess we worried for nothing. Hey everyone, Victoria Payne here. Welcome to the Thumbs Up, Thumbs Down Report. Today, we'll be talking about a local singer trying to make a name for herself. This is Angela. She's likable, she's friendly, she has a nice voice, and she has a new song called What's Not To Love. Hmm. What's Not To Love? Well, let me see. Huh? Mm, for starters, this song. <gasps> What's Not To Love sounds like it was cranked out by like a huh? songwriting machine that doesn't know what ears are. It's sugary sweet sound and fake positive message give me a headache. I have a big message for Angela's friends and it's um, don't encourage her. Oh and Angela, I have a message for you too. Write better songs. Angela, 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 I want to tell you that if this is all you've got, you gotta never sing again, okay? I give Angela a thumbs down. Pain out. Ben? Is it possible to erase the internet? Well, not without a pretty major solar flare. Then I guess my career is over. <laughs> okay, it's the day after the thumbs down. And I still feel mad. No, I feel super mad. You know what? I just thought of something. I am going to write a mean review of Victoria. Okay, you guys, update. I couldn't write a mean review. I really tried, but I'm like, what's the point? And then I went on the internet and I saw this thing that said you can't fight fire with fire. And I was like, yeah, you can't. That just causes more fire. And oh, someone should put that on a pillow. Oh no. Maybe Victoria was right. Yeah, maybe I do give people headaches. I have a headache right now. Oh, that is it. I am never singing again. That's sad. I know. I love singing, but I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm really, really going to miss it. Hey, Angela. Huh? Do you think mm -mm. maybe it's time to come out from under that blanket? That's Tom. He doesn't like my music either. Mm, all right. That's enough. Oh! Hey, give me back my sadness cave. You're not getting back your sadness cave until you listen to what I have to say. Hmm. 
smoothie. Thanks. First of all, I like your music. Stop saying that I don't. And second, why do you even care? What do you mean, why do I care? Do you like your music? Yes. And do you like your new song? What's not to love? I meant it as an answer to Tom's question, but it's also the title of Angela's song. Yes, I love my song. And doesn't your opinion of the song matter more than my opinion? Or Victoria's? Uh, let's see if I can interpret. Angela thinks her problem is with her music, <laughs> but the solution to this problem is also her music. Oh. So instead of being sad, she should write a song that turns this thumbs down situation huh? into a thumbs up. Maybe you guys are right. Writing music does make me feel better. I emerge from the sadness cave with a smile on my face. All your negativity is gone without a trace. Never sing again, never sing again. Check your ears right now, Victor. Never sing it again. Pain can't hurt me. Pain can't hurt me. Pain can't hurt me. You see, it's her name. made me feel so much better. The number of views is going up like crazy. This is your best song ever. Thanks, Tom. On a scale of one to 10, you guys are the best. Oh, listen to what people are saying. Angela, you're my hero. Oh, that's sweet. Your song made my day. Well, that comment made my day. Here's another one. Angela, you're horrible. You should probably never open your mouth again. No, no. What? Who said that? What's their screaming? <gasps> Write it down. We're going after them. You call 